uh, pleased to meet you, Lucy, and um, uh, love the film. So congrats on that. And um, no, you've seen it. I've not seen it. Not seen it. No, because I'm I'm stuck in uh, I'm stuck in LA until after the the big screening. So you've seen the finished thing. I've not even seen it. Oh wow, fantastic! So you're stuck in LA. That must be absolute hell on earth. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there, there are worse places to be for the last couple of months, but I'm kind of, I was just saying, I'm like dying to get back because now I see that like London's really sunny and yeah. everyone's out and everything's getting back to normal. So yeah. To make you a little bit oh. jealous, I, I'm in Dorset at the moment and um, oh, so lovely. and uh, I've literally just got off the beach so uh, I can probably compete with LA a little bit. So Very um, nice. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's crack on. I've seen the film, so I'm, I'm ahead of you already on that. So fantastic. Um, so talk to me about how you got involved because it, it was presumably shot a little while ago now uh, before all this yeah break. we were we were post covid so we shot in june june 2019 yeah and it was just the the audition came in um i went to just went went to the audition like any other audition got a call back i think Either the, either the next day or a day later and then I think a couple of days later we were off to real <laughs> like it was so quick yep. so um yeah it was it was a bit of a whirlwind but we um we had two weeks in in sunny real three weeks in sunny real and it was not so sunny it was very very wet and windy but um yeah it was amazing and just the the minute I kind of saw the script for die was like I have to do this this is going to be so fun absolutely so, so talk to us about Di or Diana as um as she's called I mean she's quite actually quite a layered character because there's there's some really uh there's some serious scenes but largely a lot of comedic scenes and obviously it's a comedy but you know there's so much to her isn't there so how did you sort of approach playing uh this this kind of character I mean I I, I honestly I think Di is a horror I mean Di is <laughs> Di is I, I was kind of in my head Di is kind of the villain if there's any villain in the film it's kind of Di um and I you know I've met a few Dies in my time <laughs> when I was reading the script I thought I think I know this person yeah. um and it was I mean yeah the, the to be able to play someone like her is just so much fun because she is awful you know she's kind <laughs> of I, I kind of found um I think with anything like if you're playing someone that you think, God, this person is quite awful, and you have to kind of look at, try and find the warmth in them and kind of have a an empathetic view of her. And I think Di's a bit of a, I think she's a product of her environment. I think she probably didn't have a very nice time growing up and possibly was just the girl that the only thing that she kind that she kind of had was her her looks. And now she's getting a bit older and getting a bit squidgy around the edges. And I think she's got a real... I think there's a real sadness in her not wanting to move on to kind of the next stage of her life. She doesn't know any other way to mm. behave. Um, and I think her journey in the film is this kind of bratty descent into not wanting to let go of what she used to be. And, and yeah, and I think by the end of it, I think, you know, I mean, I won't ruin anything for anyone. You'll have to watch the film. But um, <laughs> I kind, I think I, I grew, I grew a bit warmer to her. The, the kind of, the, the further on we got. But at the beginning, I just thought, yeah, she's awful. This is going to be really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty well. So I mean, you've got some great on screen, on screen chemistry with, uh, with uh, Kerry, who, Katie, who plays this sort of Bridget Jones type character. Um, that's not something you can easily sort of um, do. So I mean, how did you sort of get to know her before? you know, you started shooting, was, was there any time to sort of just, you know, have some camaraderie? And... Well, we literally, so we did the, we did the audition, the second audition, I think we, we read together and we kind of had a chat and then within days it was like, right, everyone's off to real. Um, and we, we stayed in the same, um, we, we basically lived together while we were shooting. So it was, and she's just, I mean, she's so brilliant. And, and like I, I was saying before, everyone's going to fall in love with Janet. Like she, Katie is just sublime. Um, 
and we yeah we literally were were living together so I think it really helped but it was really hard because I love her to death and there and some of the scenes where Di's just vile to her and there's what day was it and there was one day we kept like every time they were shouting cut we were like oh my god I'm so sorry and she's like oh you're being mean to me but um <laughs> I think, yeah, we really bonded. Like, I love, I love her to death. And I just think that she's so superb in this film. Absolutely. She's, she's great. I, I, I love watching watch her both, actually. It's, uh, it's great to watch. Um, and one of the best things about the film is, is, is you two. So, um, so the accent as well. I mean, you're, you're talking um, to me now with a, a very Southern accent. I, I'm, I'm, I'm a Southerner. Uh, but, uh, you know, the Bolton accent, but it is a Bolton accent, right? And you've nailed well, it. Well, it's... <laughs> an attempt at a bot it's kind of I would say it's more generic northern because we had this is the thing we kind of didn't have time you know if we had a little bit longer between auditioning and, and filming I, I I apologize to anyone from Bolton um but yeah I kind of I did the audition with a with a generic northern um and then we got to set and there were a few things that, you know, that were being pointed out. But I think, I mean, oh God, I hope, I hope I've done okay. I mean, I, I don't think anyone, I'm hoping that unless you're from Bolton, you won't go, oh God, that's not very good. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just hoping. To, to me, who's obviously got no clue. I mean, I mean, yeah. it sounded yeah. perfect to me. So, so. My, my brother-in-law is, um, he's, he's from Yorkshire. So I kind of, there was a bit of that in there and yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too bad. And how was it shooting in Will? I mean, you've obviously you're obviously in the, the location you're using as a. And I think it's a nice love letter to the to the town uh, or the, the resort. And it, you know, what is it like up there? Are you shooting in the height of summer when it wasn't like this? Because obviously we're all in a bit of a different space now. But what, what was that experience like? Was there a standout kind of thing? Oh, it was it was so much fun like i i honestly think that was the most fun i've ever had in my life was um was shooting up in real like the crew like the whole cast and crew we were just so lucky that that we got on so well we had so much fun i mean it was not the weather was not good <laughs> we got there and it was like torrential rain I mean, there was one night where I thought that we were all gonna be swept off in a tornado. It was it was not the Great British, it, well, it probably was Great British summer, isn't it? Because we're kind of used to that. Yeah. But um, yeah, it was a, a high, I don't know if there's a standout, just the, the, the way that we all gelled, I think the whole crew, it was just such a, like the producers, Sasha and, um, sorry, it's like, That's okay. they're not coming to arrest me, I promise. <laughs> You getting that? <laughs> Five, oh, just got. I, oh, okay. I it. <laughs> yeah. So Sasha and Trish, our producers, they're they're so good at like they're like they're really careful of choosing people that they love working with, and we were on like a tight schedule as well. So we, I I kind of look back and think we probably could have done with another week, but we managed to get it all done in a couple of weeks because um, everyone pulled together. But there was one day, there was just one day where I think it had been such awful weather for so long. And we had a really early morning shoot that was meant to be outside. And because everyone, we, we were like a big family. And I just remember me and Katie arriving on set and everyone just looked really sad because the weather was just, because we had all of these things planned for the two weeks of shooting outside and we just we literally hit like the two worst weeks of weather in the history of real um but everyone was just no one was grumpy it was it was so fun it was so much fun and i've never been on like we stayed on the campsite like we were on the the site um mm. which i've never done so yeah it was like when we weren't filming and, and working hard it was like being it was like being on holiday <laughs> I mean, it sounds like you've got the traditional British weather. So um, just kind of today is a freak occurrence. It's been absolutely terrible here until literally the last couple of days. So you say you've never done it before, but is it, could you relate to something from your sort of your childhood, but, but, you know, being on holiday in, in a British town and having that experience? I mean, I live in a seaside town, so I get it kind of every day. But you know, is there something you can sort of remember from 
Yeah, I mean, we used to go to Cornwall when we were when we were kids. So that thing of like, and me and my sister when we were younger, you know, we'd go down to Cornwall and we'd go to the beach and it would be raining and we were like, no, we're putting our cozies on, we're getting in the sea, like it's our holiday, we're going to have our holiday. So I think there's a real, I think the whole film is kind of a bit of a nostalgic kind of love letter to those kinds of holidays that I think are very quintessentially British because... Mm we're used to that, eating ice cream in the rain and having seagulls steal your chips kind of holiday. Yeah, absolutely. And you, so you've done kind of all sorts, you've done different genres. So you've done a lot of pop horror stuff uh, in the past. And I think you've got some more stuff coming up and you, this is obviously an all out comedy. So I'm just kind of curious as to how it differs between sort of approaching, because comedy is quite hard and, and you do nail it in, in, in this film, but you know, yeah. and horror is equally as hard, but very, very different. So what's it kind of like working across the different genres really. I I love comedy. I if I could do comedy all day, I would do the um I would choose comedy. I just I think it's I mean that's me saying it's easier, but I feel like whether whether or not I manage to pull it off or not, but it just feels more natural to me. I, I feel far more comfortable with um a comedy script than a horror script where I've got to scream or die or you know I just I love it and I I think with with this script like it's just it's so much fun Mm. and it's kind of it's it's a it's a challenge that I enjoy whereas sometimes some of the other stuff I've done where I'm like I'm not sure if this really feels like I'm getting you know I'm, I'm kind of nailing this and not that I'm not that I'm like oh I've absolutely nailed it but I just feel like there's something in and I think you get an instant when you're on set doing comedy if you have a line and once you finish the crew are laughing then you kind of get an instant like oh I think I did okay there whereas whereas other kind of dramatic or or horror yeah you just you take their word for it that oh we've got that take and that was great but yeah there's something kind of um instantly gratifying I guess about about doing comedy because if you can if, if someone's laughing you're like okay I think I, I delivered it okay and was there a particular particular scene you sort of remember working upon that you think oh, you remember being quite difficult I mean was it was there something that stands out that was real this is tough and you really had to work at it or there were there were there was there were a couple there there are some more kind of dramatic scenes with Di like she has you know she she has a a journey and there are there were kind of yeah there were scenes where I had to maybe dig a bit deeper the 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 worst thing was when we were just cold (laughs) like there there was one I think we did it we did a scene I think I think we reshot it inside um so it didn't make the film but I think there's a scene that I shot with Tiger and it was just so cold you know it's so cold that you can't think and we were kind of like oh um oh and the worst the worst scene the absolute worst scene to film was there's a there's a scene where we had to film it in a cafe Mm. but it was in like it was really early in the morning I think we'd had like some of the crew were leaving the night before and we, we filmed in this this <laughs> cafe that had that, you know, that chip pan smell, yeah, that you know, that's like yeah. very British and um, and me and Katie, yeah, we had to get up really early and, and shoot in there and that was, that was hard. But my, I think my favourite was the pageant, was the beauty pageant where Di just has a meltdown. It was so fun. It was so fun. Excellent. And you, you, I've obviously been on to the RMDB. You've got some more sort of bits and pieces coming up. So you're moving back to horror for a bit. So you've got a few projects, I believe. So yeah, I did. There's, there's a couple of things um, that I did also post pandemic that I think got that I think are kind of awaiting uh, release. But yeah, just kind of hoping to to get some more work and just come back to London and audition and just kind of hit the ground running. Hopefully. Yeah, definitely. So. Um, to sum it up, who who does this film appeal to? This this uh, I mean, it's obviously a, 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 an age old British comedy. It's very much harks back to the, the films of you know that we we were used to seeing, I and mean, we don't get them anymore. Uh, but how would you describe it, and who who does it appeal to? I think well, I, I think after I think it's so British. It's if you enjoy those kind of you know, it's a heartwarming writ comedy I think after the kind of year that we had last year I think that it's just it's I think it's it's 
there's a lot of heart to it. There's a lot of heart to it. Um, and yeah, it kind of does heart back to those, I guess, kind of, I, I would say like early 90s sort of Brit, you know. Um, and yeah, just, I, I, I think it's fun. And I think it's just a lovely, like heartwarming watch for anyone who's ever been on a, on a caravan holiday, especially. <laughs> I agree with all of that. And um, yeah, I wish you all the best with it. And uh, I hope you get to see it soon. Yes, me too. I can't wait. Lovely. Well, thanks for your time. And um, yeah, good luck with the film.